guys welcome to another vlog um, in today's video I am going to be visiting my dermatologist um, I'm like in the last year I've just been like obsessed with skincare so she's been helping me a lot with a lot of things and um, today basically she's just gonna give me an assessment to see um, what I can benefit from lately I've just been experiencing a little bit of discoloration around my mouth like you can see it starts like right here and also I have like these dots here that are left it's like discoloration left over from I don't know if you guys can see it but right there there's three of them when I went to New York Fashion Week I had like some weird infection happen here and there was like breakout and luckily it was treated and it went away quickly but I still have like these little dots left over and I like every time I go like this it makes me feel so insecure <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go in she's gonna give me an assessment I'm really excited because um, I'm all about you know indulging myself in like the latest in skincare so I'm excited to see what she says and what she recommends um, so let's go figure it out You are? I'm good, how about you? Oh, that way. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm starting off by washing my face. A mustache? <laughs> it's a microphone. <laughs> so we can hear you. <laughs> oh my god, it just looks like a little pet. <laughs> I love it. Have you been traveling and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, I was supposed to go to New York today for an event, and I'm like, oh. God, I don't even know what I'm doing to my face this morning. Maybe I should not go. Oh, yeah. So I want to. Wait, I'm like, I don't even know what it is. Yeah, well, we'll talk know. about a plan and everything. Yeah. Um... So you had some interest in potentially doing some Botox. Yes. Um, let me just take a look at your, kind of what's going on. Okay. So, 
Botox, as you probably know, it relaxes the muscles under the skin that over time contract to form little lines, little lines, fine lines, and wrinkles, yeah. which you don't have many of. Um, but it can be very good for prevention, too, yeah. you know, done in conservative amounts. My approach is I really like my patients to still have some natural movement in yeah. their face, but it can soften that contraction a bit so that the the, the fine lines and wrinkles don't don't come and don't get deeper. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Um, go ahead and raise your brows for me. Um, scowl when you're angry. Smile. So with the brow placement, we can use Botox in certain areas around kind of the orbital rim to help elevate the tail of the eyebrow a little okay. bit. And I think that that would work very well on you. Okay. Um, so we can definitely, definitely do that. Okay. Um, there's a muscle group in between the eyebrows that you kind of scowl or frown, yeah. sort of the depressor mm -hmm. of the brows too. So treating that muscle group can give kind of an open, um, refreshed look to kind of the eye area. Okay. And then I would say if we treat the forehead, mm -hmm. For you, I would just keep it really, really light, um, more of just like a proactive preventative dose okay. um, because you don't have a lot of lines there at rest and I think it's nice to have some natural elevation movement yeah. in that area. So, okay. Um, Botox typically takes about two, two to seven days, I would say, to kick in. Okay. Um, you're at your sort of end point with the effects on the muscles at about two weeks. Okay. Uh, it lasts about three months. It's done by a little series of injections. So you always have to think about a potential risk for a little bruise in any area where a needle goes into the skin. But I try to be as, you know, as gentle and careful as we can. It's just something to be aware of with okay. any injection. Um, that's, Skinny. Okay. So we can definitely do that. Okay. And then you were telling me, so what are some of your concerns with your skin? Okay, so I feel like around my mouth is a little it's getting a little darker. Okay. Um and I feel like around my cheeks I'm starting to see some like texture. Okay. So I wanted to see how I can, what I can do to like make sure that doesn't get bigger. Okay. What I like to do is sort of approach things from what can we do in the office and what can we do from a skincare routine standpoint yeah. and kind of break it down that way. Um, in office, there are a couple of things that I think would be amazing for you. Mm -hmm. um, basically a combination of laser treatment and a uh, treatment called Diamond Glow. I'll kind of go over those with you. Okay. Um, Laser Genesis is a great treatment for texture, collagen production, pore size, fine lines, uh, hyperpigmentation, and redness. You don't really deal with too much redness in your skin, yeah. but I do think it will be a great, safe treatment to address some of these textural concerns that you're having and some of the hyperpigmentation, mm -hmm. which is very, very mild. Um, the, the biggest thing is we want to make sure we're or selecting a laser treatment that's going to be safe for your skin type. Mm -hmm. And I do think that the laser genesis being safe for all skin types is a great place to start. Okay. There is another laser called Clear and Brilliant, mm -hmm. which is a fractionated laser. And what that means is the laser delivers its energy through kind of thousands of little zones of injury to the skin. And in doing that, triggers collagen and elastin production mm -hmm. and also helps with hyperpigmentation or melasma okay. um, that some patients deal with. Um, I love that treatment because it's very safe. It has very little downtime. Um, you'll, you'll see one to two days of maybe a little redness to the skin and then about a week of a fine sandpaper texture to the skin as the cells skin cells are turning over. Okay. I think what we will want to do with you is a combination of the laser genesis and the clear and brilliant. Okay. Before we do the clear and brilliant, I want you to be using um, a couple of specific products to kind of prime the skin 
um, to sort of settle down that hyperpigmentation response, those melanocytes that create the pigment, mm -hmm. just to make sure that your skin's in a good, safe place to be doing the laser that's going to have more of a more of an effect on the texture and the tone of the skin. Okay. So I think for you, combining the laser genesis and the clear and brilliant, maybe in a series where we're doing a laser approximately every four weeks, but sort of in an alternating way, okay. would be great. Um, there is another treatment called Diamond Glow, which um, combines ex gentle exfoliation of the skin, like a microdermabrasion, mm -hmm. with extraction um, and an infusion. So it's a great great treatment to do between laser treatments to, to sort of accelerate that skin cell turnover. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about Diamond Glow is there's no downtime associated with it at all, so your skin looks amazing right afterwards. There's typically maybe an hour or so where your skin is just a little, a little red and sensitive, but mm -hmm. over the first 24 hours it really calms down very quickly. So it's a great treatment to do as an adjunct, but also on its own. Okay. So it's really popular, like before an event or you know something where you want your skin to be looking extra good. Um, so yeah, so I think we do kind of a combination of those, okay. and then skincare. Um, fundamentally, we want to make sure that you have a really good broad spectrum sunscreen. Yeah. So I love the Elta MD sunscreens. We also just brought out a line called the Isden, which is amazing. It um, their sunscreens not only protect the skin, but also correct photo damage. Um, so that's probably what I'd select for you. Um, and then um, I would recommend a product um, called Bright that is a topical transenzymic acid that will help to lighten. It's a spot treatment. It will help to lighten those areas where you're noticing the hyperpigmentation. Okay. So we'll get you kind of on routine with those. Okay. Um, Sounds amazing. Do I can't wait. Do you have any questions for me? <laughs> no, is it gonna hurt? No. Okay. Well the, the Botox will be a little oh be yeah, a little that's bit. Fine. Yeah. I can the, the laser that we're gonna do today, um, no pain. Okay. It feels like a warm, kind of warming sensation to the skin. Okay. The clear and brilliant um, treatment we do put typically put a topical numbing okay. lotion on the skin for about a half an hour. Okay. That just takes the edge off of it a little bit. Okay. Um, it feels a little prickly um, after the treatment's done, which takes about 20 to 30 minutes. Both of these lasers are about 20 to 30 minutes. After the Clear and Brilliant laser is done, your skin will feel like a little sunburned uh -huh. for an hour or two, but that dissipates pretty quickly. Okay. I love these laser treatments because they give great results. They really have minimal downtime, and they're not particularly uncomfortable. Okay. So, okay. All those things are... Sounds good. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have you close your eyes really tight. Eyes? Yeah. Okay, now you can, you can help it in relax. Okay. 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 So, open up the eye area a little bit and also give you a little lifted. To the brow. I'm gonna have you want to lift eye. I'm gonna have you um, <laughs> close tight again and relax. Close tight again for me and relax. So there's a circular little muscle around the orbit, and so if we can relax that, it helps to. Lift. The forehead is what lifts the brow placement. Mm -hmm. So for you, not having a ton of like static lines, you know, I'd rather just address address the skin with laser treatment, really up in that area. Okay. I just feel like my eyebrows are already just like low in general. That's why yeah. I like just want a little lift. Yeah. So we're. So I'm, I was con conservative, so I think it'll be really great to check things out in two to four weeks okay. to kind of see how this dose sort of settles in. Okay. Because with every patient, too, I mean, 
I'm learning your anatomy and mm -hmm. kind of the placement and what's going to look the best for you. So yeah. that's why I like to, you know, see you back. Okay. So this is what I want to start with, okay. just because it's super safe, and then I want to get your skin primed up with those products. Okay. And then we can get you. I mean, you can look at your schedule. You you will be a little. The, for 48 hours, you probably won't want to have. Exactly how you structure your week and things like that, but you can cut like your, your skin's gonna look a little darker for 24 to 48 hours, yeah. No, right after the treatment, I'm shooting on Sunday, so okay, yeah, not with this one, but with the clear oh, like okay. the next one that we do, okay, yeah. So I'm gonna start over on your right cheek, okay, it's not gonna hurt, right? Nope, not gonna hurt, it's gonna feel kind of warm, it's actually sort of relaxing. Oh, yeah, I remember it feels like sun. You let me know how it feels. It's okay? Yeah. It just feels like there's hot water dripping on my hands. So this laser helps um, to encourage collagen and elastin production, helps with hyperpigmentation, redness. Um, if patients are blemish prone, definitely helps to calm down the inflammation associated with that. I'm definitely seeing some inflammation around my chin. And that only happens when I eat ice cream. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yep, there you can do it sometimes. Do you see anything when you're doing this? Uh, as far as your skin? Yeah. Um, yeah, so your skin's getting a little, a little red. Um, and that's just because the laser is targeting that redness in your skin and sort of bringing it to the surface so we know that it's on target. Okay. Um, but that redness will fade within an hour or two. This is the type of treatment you know you can do in the middle of the day and just go back to your routine. Mm -hmm. Lunchtime lasers, so to speak. Oh, great. That worked out so well. I feel like I can see it again. Yeah, okay. Very tiny ones under lunch. That's what sort of you're feeling a little bit. Okay. Right on fire. <laughs> it's not like you're on fire. So you're just a little, just a little, slightly red, but I don't know now. This is the Verite Glow. It's a vitamin C, E, and ferulic acid. Also has some peptides in it. So Megan, I would say as far as a protocol, we do um, two Clair Brilliance, two Verite lasers, alternating, and then get her in for a couple of Diamond Glows. Diamond glow sounds fabulous. Oh my God, I want so that <laughs> so that you should do in about two weeks. Okay, and then the clear and brilliant in in about four. Okay. Usually it takes me doing it like just rubbing it in. Rubbing oh, look it at in. that! I don't think that's too bad. Oh no, it's hot. No. Yeah. I mean, it, it's gonna look a little pasty yeah. when it first goes on. Yeah. yeah. It comes in an untinted too, so it's really up to you which one you want. No, I rather the tinted. Yeah. I think if you're okay with working it in a little bit. Yeah. I know we have to do that with things. Alrighty, my dear. Are we done for the day? We're done for the day. I'm just gonna so, have Megan snap. Hi guys, so it is the next day. I just got back from the gym and I took a shower and not wearing any makeup, so I just wanted to show you guys what we're looking like so far i do see a little bit of redness here and here from the laser but like she said like my doctor said it's gonna go away and of course i still see a little bit of texture here as well as a little bit of discoloration from old blemishes but like she said i'm gonna need several rounds of the laser and i'm really excited about that but you know i just wanted to give you guys a little update as you can see I did not do any major structural changes to my face. I still look the same, but I'm just doing, you know, little touch-ups here and there to kind of preserve my youth <laughs> and just, you know, feel great about myself. So that's what I've been up to. I'm going to keep showing you guys more about what I do in the upcoming months, but you guys said you wanted to see it. So here we are. If you stuck around this long, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.